Hello everyone, this is Mam Ma Amano and this lecture video is all about free falling bodies or just free fall. Let us discuss the concepts first. We have observed in our surroundings and it's also the observation of Aristotle that in the presence of air, an object's rate of fall is affected by its weight, size, and shape. So according to Aristotle, the heavier objects fell faster than lighter ones. So for example, kung meron kang bato, tapos meron kang paper, crumpled paper for example, the rock will fell will fell first because it is heavier compared to the paper. So in this case, uh, we have here now the Aristotle thought in which that the heavier objects fell faster than lighter one. Alright? And then, this is the thought of Aristotle. But then, Galileo Galilei disproved this. Okay? According to him, if we neglect the air friction, so for example, nilagay mo sa isang vacuum yan, ibig sabihin walang air, walang presence ng kahit anong forces, the objects, whether that is heavier or lighter, whether whatever their masses are, kahit anong mass yan, it will have the same rate of motion and it will hit the floor at the same time. So, either papel yan, na idadrop mo sa vacuum, tapos isang rock, they will have the same fall. Okay, time of fall and rate of fall and motion as well. So, that is if you put an object in a vacuum or neglecting the air friction. This experiment was proven by David Scott wherein in a, it is a NASA experiment. In 1971, on his spacecraft, he dropped a feather and a hammer and the observation goes that both of the objects fell at the same time, at the same rate. Okay, so just like this experiment here. On this video. Release. Now, free-falling bodies is also known as acceleration due to gravity, represented by small g, and the equivalent value is 9.8 meters per second squared. Alright? This 9.8 meters per second squared, it is positive if the object is thrown downward. Kapag pababa, positive ang value nito. Since walang opposition sa gravity, since ang gravity natin ay nandito sa baba, hinihila ng gravity lahat talaga fall. At kapag nahulog yung isang object, ang value nun ng acceleration due to gravity ay positive because it doesn't oppose the gravity. While kapag nagtapon ka ng object pataas, ang acceleration due to gravity na value ay magiging negative ang value. Alright? Kasi it opposed the gravity. Alright? So, take note that the value of the acceleration due to gravity varies at different locations, particularly at different planets. But here on Earth, we will be denoting and using negative 9.8 meters per second squared as our acceleration due to gravity represented by small g. Now, for example, problem number one I have here related to the topic, a tilapia is dropped by a hovering eagle. How far will the fish fall in 2.0 seconds before the bird catches it again? We have to neglect air friction since this is a free fall. Alright, so the problem here is drop by. So you will have a positive 9.8 meters per second squared. Let us specify the given values. We have here the given values of initial velocity of 0. It is not specified here. Alright, and then... Time at 2.0 seconds. Acceleration due to gravity at 9.8 meters per second squared. That is positive because it is dropped and it does not oppose the gravity. The solution here is this one. Since you are being asked to find how far it is distance. How far from the fall, this one, the height here, drop. So we are looking for the distance since the drop of the fish. So you will have here distance is equivalent to the product of initial velocity and time plus the acceleration due to gravity times squared over 2. So substitution lang kayo, you will have here the initial velocity is 0, time is 2.0 seconds, so automatically 0 na yan. And then you will have here the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared, time is 2.0 second, and then that will be raised to 2 over 2. And then, 
you will have 9.8 meters per second squared. You square that, that will be 4. Second squared, you square as well the variable here. So cancel the second unit, cancel the second squared. You will be left out with the meter unit. And then you will have 9.8 times 4 over 2, you will have 19.6 meters. Then sample problem number 2, a pitcher tosses a baseball straight up with an initial speed of 15 meters per second. Letter A, how long does it take to reach its highest point? And letter B, how high does the ball rise above its release point? So you will have here now the initial speed of 15 meters per second and how long we are looking for the time. So for given values, we have here the 15 meters per second for our initial velocity. And then, we have the final velocity of 0. Why? Because here you have how long does it take to reach its highest point. Because the velocity or the speed at the highest point, as always, the maximum point at above is 0. Okay? At the lowest point, that is 0 as well. So, on this case, we will be using the 0 value since we are pertaining to the highest point of the uh, distance since it has been tossed upward. So, pataas to ah. Pataas yung tapon. So, ang magiging value ng acceleration due to gravity mo rito ay negative. So, yes, you have here the negative value because it was tossed upward or tinapon pataas yung baseball. Now, let us answer problem A. How long does it take to reach its highest point? This is the formula that you will be using. Alright, so you will have substitution, time is equivalent to the final velocity which is 0, initial velocity which is 15 meters per second over negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And then cancel the second unit, low of sign, 2 minus 1, that will be uh, 1, you will be left out with meters per second squared. And then... Perform the operation here, perform the operation, you will have P is 1.53 seconds, meaning it will take 1.53 seconds to reach its highest point. Now, let us proceed on letter B. How high does the ball rise above its release point? Nung tinapon na siya, gaano kataas daw yung narating niya from the, ano, from the highest point? How high siya pinakawalan? Alright, so you will be having this formula here, distance. When, it, when we pertain to the upward movement, kapag pataas, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin for distance. So, you will have here 0 for final velocity, square, automatically 0. So, next, initial velocity minus 15 meters per second over uh, raised to 2 and then over 2, two acceleration due to gravity of negative and then uh, square this one, meter squared, second squared because you square the value here of initial velocity and then you will have 225 here, that is negative, and then uh, multiplied 2 and negative 9.8, you will have negative 19.6, then cancel the second unit, then 2 minus 1 for meters, low of sign, you will have a meter unit left, and then you will have to divide this one, you will have 11.48 meters, this is the answer for the distance, alright, so next, for your practice exercises, pag-practice nyo lang, hindi nyo siya kailangang ipasa sa akin. Okay, same lang yung structure ng problem. It is the common problem that you will be encountering. Pag-practice nyo lang. And then, for your PETA, you have to simulate the free fall experiment by dropping two different objects at the same time. Kaya pipili ng object na gusto ninyo. Then, in your house, choose a not so windy location in your house. Yung hindi ganong mahangin. Kasi hindi naman natin talaga totally maw mawawala yung hangin, hindi tayo pwedeng gumawa agad ng vacuum chamber. So, pili kayo ng location na hindi ganong windy. And then, record the simulation via time lapse where we can see the moment of fall. I-record ninyo ng maayos. Yung makikita natin, exactly yung drop. Okay? After the time lapse, discuss your observation with the simulation. Do the objects fall at the same time? Why? Or why not? And what objects fell first, second, or both of them? Did they fall? Mm, let us see. What is the time difference? So, I'd like you to discuss that on your PETA. So, your appearance on this one must be seen, ha, huh, on the video. So, the deadline of this output for PETA, ha, huh, ang deadline nito ay December 15, Wednesday. Alright? So, that is all for this lecture video.